this video, I'm going to show you some basic applications of SMART Studio utilizing this worksheet, which kind of increase the size down here by 25% to show you more detail. Um, increase the size over here. <clears throat> SMAT Studio is the type of software, of uh, mathematical software known as WYSIYIG. What you see is what you get. In other words, as you type your um, expressions, it just starts showing up like they would in a textbook or in what's called two-dimensional mathematics. And then you can proceed to calculate with them. To build this, an equation like this, I'm going to show you in a, in a different video. But at this point, we have this particular expression where we're calculating with some numbers, and in, in this case, we could use the equal sign in the keyboard or the equal sign here in the in the panel to obtain a numerical result, 0.7675. By default, you get four decimals. If you want to change that, you can click on this result, do a right click in your mouse, and change the decimal places here to, let's say, eight to get a more uh, expanded result. Now, in terms of um, other applications, we're going to be using a lot of variables. A variable is simply a name that starts with a letter. We can have numbers. We can have the undersign. In this case, I'm giving you a series of examples. M, S, and alpha are given those values. To enter a particular value, for example, let's say R, we use the column. The column is also shown here as the definition operator or assignment operator in which you enter a value to the right-hand side, let's say 6.5. Once you click outside of that box, if you type R equals below that, that result, then SMAS Studio confirms that your variable has that particular value. If you type it above and you say R equals, it will show an empty result because R hasn't been defined above this particular location. So keep that in mind. Variables get defined using the definition operator or the assignment operator, and then they keep that value below in the worksheet. I'm going to delete this by selecting the fields and doing a backspace or a delete. And so having uh, loaded these values um, as an alpha at this level, I can calculate this expression and then I use the equal sign to obtain a numerical result. To erase a particular value, like for example this one, you just click on the black placeholder here and do a backspace. Let's do another backspace here to eliminate the equal sign. There is this symbol, the arrow, which is called evaluate symbolically, also obtained by pressing control uh, dot. That gives you a, what is called a um, symbolic result. Let's see what we get in this case, control dot. You get you get some simplification or, of the of the values presented, but not much. And so the numerical result will be preferred in this case. If you want to get back to your numerical result, select this entire segment, do a backspace, do a backspace again, and a couple of times, and then use the equal sign. As you can see here, that the number of decimals went back to four. That's the default, and here we have a numerical result. The same expression that I typed in here, I type it on the right-hand side of the assignment operator here, assigning that into the variable row. The variable row is a Greek letter, and you have symbols here uh, in, in the Greek letter. You can get it from there, or you can simply type R, control G, and that converts into a row. I'm going to delete that row here. And you just click on this box and do the equal sign to obtain the same results as above. But now we also know that if you type below that result R, control G equals, you get the value of row. If you type it above row, control G equals, it gives you a, uh, an assignment and saying well, you haven't defined that value, so make sure to enter it if you want to re redefine it. We're going to delete this and this. And this, uh, as I mentioned, are some basic examples. This is only the first part of the demonstration of applications dealing with simple arithmetic and calculation with variables.